Welcome to Joystick. In this video, you will learn how to convert a string to integer in Python and vice versa. I am in my PyCharm IDE in which I'll begin with a classic scenario, which is taking input from the console. For this, I'll first write the main function. All right, main function created. Then I'm going to declare a variable, which I'll call v underscore num. After the equals to sign, I'll make use of the input function within whose brackets I'll type a message, enter the number. Okay, this line of code is actually going to allow me to enter a number from the console. Let me write another line of code in which I'll be adding 10 to the number taken into this variable v underscore num. And I'll try to print it on the screen. So I'll try to print the summation on the screen. So within the print function, I'm going to write v underscore num plus 10. Let's run the program and see its behavior. All right, so the program is asking me to enter the number. Let me enter 4. And you can see that the program throws an error. Why the program threw this error? Because v underscore num is not an integer variable. It's a string variable. Let's see if what I spoke is correct or not by using the type function. So what I'm going to do, let me come into this line out and I'm going to simply write print within its brackets. I'll write type and within its brackets, I'll pass vdub. Okay. Let's run the program and check the output. Let me enter the number as six this time. And you can see the type of the variable vnum is a string. The reason is that the input function always returns a string. That is why vnum, the variable vnum has become a string variable. To make this variable an integer variable, what we need to do is to typecast this whole expression into an integer, which we can do using the function int. So I'll write int and take this expression within its brackets. Let me comment out this line because now the program is going to work successfully. All right, let's run this program and check the output. I'm going to enter the number. Let me enter five this time. Now the program is going to print 15 as the summation result and the type of the variable vnum will be changed to integer. There you go. It worked as expected. Thus, you just learned about the int function that converts a string to an integer. Now, what we are going to do, we are going to take this summation result into a variable. So I'm going to declare a new variable, v underscore sum. And after the equals to sign, I'm going to copy and paste this entire expression over here. Okay, so let's check the type of this variable vsum as well. So within print, we are going to make use of the type function within whose brackets we'll write v underscore sum. Here you go. Before we print the type of vsum, we will print a message so as to avoid confusion. So I'll write type of the variable vsum. Okay. Let's check quickly the type of v underscore sub variable. Okay, it's asking me to enter the number again. Let me enter 10. And there you go. It says type of the variable v underscore sum is int. Now to convert this integer variable v sum into a string variable, we are going to make use of the str function. So for that, we declare another variable. We call it v sum str. And after the equals to sign, we are going to write str, which is our str function. And within its brackets, we will pass v underscore sum. We'll print the value of this variable v sum str and its type as well. So let's write print within double quotes. We'll write value of v sum str is comma v sum str. And then we are going to write type of v sum str is comma. We will make use of the type function and within its brackets we'll pass v sum str. Let's run the program and check the output. 
okay program is again asking me to enter the number let me enter 10 and there you go the value of v sum str is 20 that means the summation result is calculated fine because when the summation result was calculated the value the type of the variable vnum is int but now that has been converted into a string so value of v sum str is 20 and type of v sum str is coming as a string that means we were successfully able to convert v sum variable into a string variable which is v sum str now this variable v sum str is an iterable my friend because uh, in python a string is an iterable that means you can run a for loop on it let's check that out as well so it will be for i n v sum str and uh, let's print the individual digits of the summation result prefixed by a particular string so we'll write within print function digit is and let's give an arrow sign comma i let's run the program again and see the output let me give 10 this time or 11 and there you go you can see this is the output that is getting printed as a result of this for loop individual digits 2 and 1 are preceded with this string digit is however the summation result came out as 21 thus to convert an integer into a string we use str function and to convert a string into an integer we use in function with this we have come to the end of this video i hope you enjoyed the learning you got through this video do subscribe to joey's tech if you want to grow in python i'll see you in the next video of joey's tech goodbye and take very very good care of yourself